Hi everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well today. So it's really early, guys. I could not sleep. I was tossing and turning all night. It's like the third night in a row. And I'm sure you can hear it in my voice that, you know, this is the first time I've spoke out loud today. Husband is still asleep. I have been up since like 2.30. And it is now 4.45. So I have been crafting this morning so I wanted to show you guys what I had been doing and also do a little bit of um, shameless self promotion if you will um, so these little document covers are listed in my Etsy shop um, I did go in I think I had showed you guys where I had I like picked out the papers um, and I have went in and sewed them into the signature and only have like, what, six pages maybe? One, two, three. Okay, so this one has five. Um, but just various pages and these are kind of long skinny journals. Let me show you how, um, what these measure here. So this particular one is a little over eight and a half. When folded, it is... Um, a little over uh, three and a half wide so that is this one and these are antique from 1898 uh, um, those sheets that I had gotten or antique documents that I had gotten from Amazon this right here is a printable it may be oh I'm not sure there's ruby and pearl in here there's just all kinds of different yummy papers in here um, so this one I hadn't really did anything to. So there is that one. And then this is the taller of the two and, or of the three. I think I have three in there. I'm not sure. This one's like nine and a half tall, uh, by roughly four. It's like one notch under four is the size of this one. And again, this is a mortgage. Um, so yeah, I just got some coffee dyed paper in there, some ruby and pearl, um, some other people, and I apologize, I'm not sure exactly who all, um, so yeah, I haven't really did anything to that one yet, but that's the way that that one looks, and that's the bag, it's the original bag, that's where the paper was kind of, where the document was kind of folded up, so I just left it that way, oh, and there's the back of that one, just plain, and then this one right here says deed and it is that measured it yet a little over eight and a half um by uh three and three fourths it looks like i guess guys i don't know how to read a ruler so there's that um but again this is april 30th 1898 so they are really pretty love this font on here so this one right here i did go in and put a few pockets so let me just show you that so we have a pocket here and i just took some of the scraps and off cuts guys from tearing the papers down and just pretty much took a book page um just book pages that i had from my glue pages and folded those over the book pages and tore it so you have this jagged edge up here um, and then just collaged on top of it. So we have a little pocket there. Um, and then I just put that there. That was just a scrap. And then this one right here is kind of like a, I don't know what you call it, pocket. It's open at the end down here. Um, so all I did was took a glue page and tore each side of it, folded it in half, and just glued it over the page here. I love these teared looks or torn looks, teared looks. Oh, I can't even talk. Um, and again, just did some collaging with my scraps and some of the embossed paper um, that I had used. So that, yeah, you could just put something down in there. It's not going to fall through the bottom. This one, this side is the same way. So we will be finding something to go in there. I did just dress up all the edges. This one, I did the same thing. Just took a book page, but I made a little pocket there with it. So you have a pocket there. And again, I just folded it over the page and then just glued here and here. And then we have a pocket here. And then just some collage in there on that sheet. And then back here is our little pocket on this one. Again, just a book page 
tore it, distressed it, did some collaging on it, and that's it. Super fun. I can't wait to finish this up. Um, in the inside of this, guys, I just backed with some coffee dyed paper. That's what I did. And I like this one on the back. So that says the record. Um, so, yeah, I thought that was really pretty. So, these are in my shop um, in digital form. So, if you guys are interested. And this is exactly how they print out, guys. I wish I knew how to do you know what these other ladies are doing and make them all different colors for you and have a blue set and a green set and a pink set and all these other sets guys i don't know how to do that it was a miracle <laughs> because it took me forever to figure out how to put these or lay these on my scanner in order to skin them and get them to where this would be the front it was a hot hot mess because the actual documents i believe is like three pages the way that it folds so yeah that was quite the challenge um yeah, so, yeah, these are in my Etsy shop if you guys are interested in going over. So, I thought today we would actually work on our Forget-Me-Not journal. have lots of goodies over here. I do have some um, goodies over here. Now, these two right here, guys, are actually from um, Tina over at Shabby Dabby Doo Dah. But I thought those may look cute on our belly bands. We are going to go ahead and get these poor little belly bands done today. So if you remember, this is our cover. Absolutely gorgeous cover. I did not make, by the way. Um, so yeah, so I just got some scraps in here. Now these are the scraps, guys, that we had torn the book pages or something. Maybe they were glue pages uh, where we made our belly bands and stuff. And then I just took a script stamp that I have. It was a block. I think it was this one that I used. Or maybe it was a different one. But anyway, it was on a block. And I, I put this on the back so I'd know which way was the top because I was stepping upside down. Uh, but it was on a big old block. But it was just too big and gawky. So I actually took this off of the big wooden block it was on. I keep it right here. Because um, I use it quite a bit. Um, let's see. I need to put this up here. Alright, so I just took... It may not have been that one. It may have been another one. But anyway, so I just took all of these and just stamped on them. So we will have these with that pretty script on there um, to use for like whatever. And we're actually going to use some today. And I will show you that. So trip down memory lane. These are the... Um, embossed envelopes that I had done so we have those ready don't know where exactly we'll put them but we do have those ready and actually I need to get a little basket to put these in you guys hold on just a moment all right guys made it back so I just grabbed a little basket for us to put this stuff in um, as we make it yeah that one doesn't want to go up does it it's a little bit wide um, and then these are a couple of tags that we have. So we'll stick those in there. That way I can keep it all together and get it out of here. So that's a future belly band. This is just a printable. And I had saw um, Heather at Ruby and Pearl um, doing some distressing um, to make it look old. And this is my sad attempt. But anyway, let's go ahead and stick that there. Why don't we do that? So there's that. Okay, so these are some uh, collage bases that I did. Which way does it go? This way. So here's some different journaling cards. Stuff. I don't remember if we did these together, guys. We may have. I'm sorry. I'm just not sure. Um, and these, like I said, are just on the glue pages. So that could go either way. So it will fit. So we have all of these bases. And that could be a tag um, that we can use again. And these are just with um, glue pages because Lord knows I have bukus. Let's fold it that over that way. I thought that was cute. So that's the back that you can write on. Or it could be the front, whatever we decide. Okay, and here's these. I think we're done with these. We just need something on the inside. So we're going to stick those in the done pile. How about that? And then here's our cute little belly bands we are going to do something to today for sure. So let's get this over there somewhere. Get ourselves situated here. Not sure if we'll get to those today. 
Okay. So, let's just stick her down in there as well. Oops, put them to the side. Get a drink of coffee, guys. Okay. So, what I got out today, guys, was... I had did a lace masterboard. So, we have two... Um, for journaling cards and they do have um, I did it on the white side I had single sided scrapbooking paper um, and I just did the lace collage thing which this is not really a lace collage board master board because it's just one piece of lace over the white side of the scrapbooking paper that way we have the design on the other side so I got out two of those so this is what I was thinking so these are pieces from her um, chapter one from the forget me not so what I was thinking uh, was perhaps and that's a stamp look at there that's coming up let's glue that come here art glitter glue you get yourself back down there buddy okay so what I was thinking was first I had that like that and then I decided to maybe put some of this under there and we could cut it so it'll be on there kind of like that and then I was also thinking because I don't use it that much is using my uh, well tell tap punch to put a well tell tap at the top so let's get that out because you know I will forget so I was thinking that for that one and then of course we'll distress around those and then this one here Oh, I also cut out some of the, um, what was it, the faux washi from chapter one. I think I got her set one, two, and three. I'm not positive. Um, but this is the one that actually says forget me not and coordinates with this. So, I was thinking about that. And then again, using a piece of this that we stamped on. Get back here. And putting that like there. Probably look cute if we tore it, wouldn't it? Let's do that. Let's tear. Leave a little bit on that side. And then a little bit on that side. Well, that's too long. What am I thinking? Can't leave that much. Tear a little bit more off. It's pretty much going all the way across it, but it'll be okay. May exceed it a little bit, and that'll be okay too. And then we can distress both of those and put that there. That's going to look super cute. And we'll distress around all these. So we'll keep that piece. My right eye is itching today like crazy. Which is crazy because, you know, I haven't been anywhere. Okay, this one, I think we will do the same thing. Just tear that. And then put that down and tear this here, maybe. Alright, guys. So, it is Friday. We'll go ahead and start chatting while I figure this out. Oh, let me show you something else first. So, I don't know how many of you know Shell and Clint at the Rambling Crafter. If you don't know them, go and seek them out. Um, because they are amazing artists, both of them. And Clint actually makes ink daubers. And if you know... Um, this is like, let's see, I have three. So this is like the mahogany, and then whatever this one is, and then this one. But as you can see, they're all three different colors. So my mahogany I have not used yet. It's over there. It's kind of like a backup. And I think I just mixed them up. Um, yeah, I think this one is for my vintage photo. Yep. That's where that one was sitting. And then this is for the other one, which I can't see. Uh, oh, Ground Espresso. Because um, it's a bit darker color. Well, I was wanting a pink one. <coughs> excuse me. To coordinate, of course, with my craft room. So I reached out to Shell. And she had Clint get back with me. And this came yesterday, guys. Pink Dauber. Um, so, yeah. Isn't that the cutest absolutely amazing so he does this with the wood and then he had put this in some kind of dye don't know what kind 
Isn't that gorgeous, though? But you guys go over and check them out. If you don't see the color that you want, reach out to them and let them know what color you want. They may be able to accommodate. So I do know they could do the pink. But as far as any other colors like blue, purple, green, yellow, orange, whatever, I'm not sure about all that. So, yeah, we'll have to find out. But, yeah, definitely reach out. Okay, so we need this. All right, come here. So we're going to go ahead and distress around this. And if I don't get a move on it, we're not going to get to those poor belly bands. And I promised those belly bands before I started that they would get made today. So this video might run a little bit long. We'll see. I hope you're all doing well today. So it is, we'll just chat. I'm going to use, I know I keep getting off key. Okay. Since that's got lace on it, we're going to use the, um, yeah, that glue. Whatever glue that is. Um, Fabri-Tac, sorry. It's early, so I'm going blank. Just because I want to make sure that that... Oh, that's not wanting to come out. Let's see. What what have I done? Not sure. Alright. Let's see if that worked. Yep, that worked. Um, yeah, so I forgot what I was talking about. But anyway, it is Friday morning, the what? September 23rd. When I'm filming, I am on vacation still. Um, I go back on Monday. No, Tuesday. Sorry. So, let's see. Technically, I still have today. So, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So, four more days. And my husband and I were going to um, ride up to the mountains today. But as I told you guys, um, a couple of days before he was going to Florida, he is back, by the way, he came back Wednesday. Um, so yesterday we had um, some guys come out, a company come out to clean our uh, air vents, the ducts, the returns, and the um, dryer vent. Because it needed to be done, guys. It had not been. We had not had it done, and we bought this house in 2006. Um, and our light bill has just come outrageous. So we were just trying to figure out what we may can do to kind of tame that light bill just a little bit. It's got glue everywhere. Yuck. Um, I could have used dark glitter glue on this too. But anyway, all right, so that one I think just needs a weld tail tab to find something to cut out a weld tail tab with. Let's see if we have anything up here that may work. So I doubt we're going to be using all of these. So maybe we can cut out a well tail tap from this. Um, so yeah, so we had some guys come to clean those yesterday. Um, not sure why I got sidetracked on that, but my husband's truck. So, okay, so to say he, look guys, you can make journaling cards out of this. Just had an idea. Or you can fold it and make like a little flippy pad cute but we're gonna make a well tail tab out of it um so yeah so since they were coming he came back on punch he came back on wednesday so that he would be here when they came I like that writing um yeah, so he came back on Wednesday. Well, right before, a couple of days before he left, his he had his truck run into an something and it just cut off and it wouldn't start back. So, um, his brother and nephew were supposed to come over yesterday evening on Thursday and look at it and see if they could 
get it fixed well that schedule changed so they didn't come yesterday they're going to come today so we were supposed to ride up to the mountains today but since they're coming uh, they're not coming till later but you know I told my husband the whole point of um, me wanting to go up there was to have oh that's cute yeah. was to have like you know a leisurely drive up and not be on a time frame and leisurely do whatever we want up there and leisurely drive back well now we would have to be back at a certain time so I told him I would just as soon stay home since it was now going to be a kind of timed rush thing and besides that guys it cooled off so yesterday Thursday first day of uh, fall it was still in the mid 90s here we did get an afternoon thunder shower pour for like I don't know I felt like two seconds you know just enough to get everything drenched okay there's that guys we're gonna put that in the done pile um but yeah but today is supposed to be a lot cooler it's gonna actually feel like fall so this morning I hadn't poked my head out yet but it's supposed to be like uh, upper 50s maybe um, so yeah so excited for that change so I said that to say so I have decided today um, I told you guys I was you know redoing the which is on standstill but my sewing room because I haven't got any of the furniture in there and I'm thinking I'm going to do like a wall of of the cubes I think I told you guys that too um, anyway a wall of cubes and I don't have those yet so uh, everything is just it's a hot mess throw it in the floor and everywhere in there I do have my sewing table in there but I've since covered it up with you know all this other stuff um, and I still have to paint my um, and shabby chic up my antique um, uh, secretary's desk I got so yeah so this week the plan was to get some painting done for decor and you know the antique desk secretary's desk and all that and I've got none of that done I have not did any painting at all oh I take that back I did one little bitty thing so sad but it's because it has been so hot so um So yeah, with it cooled off today, that actually works out good, I guess, that we're not going to the mountains. Um, because now I can go out there since it's going to be cool, cooler than it has been and get some painting done. Because I have my table, my paint, my supplies, all of that stuff on the front porch. Um, ready to paint so I need to get at it anyway oozy glue again I should have used the art glitter glue on that piece such a silly goose okay yuck oh glue booger okay um so yeah so that's what I'm gonna do today I have no idea what he's gonna do he needs to cut grass um he didn't actually finish it before he went to florida and i told him that was fine you know he got the front done for me i'm like i'm not going out back anyway just you know get the front done because he was actually trying to do it saturday morning before um he left out to actually go to florida so he's going to recut the front and cut the back today he said something about it yesterday and i'm like you know it's hot out there it's 90 something degrees why don't you just wait and do it tomorrow which even I can't believe I said guys because you know I like you guys know I'm a little bit OCD and I like my yard to be kept well manicured if you will I like driving up you know you go somewhere and you drive up and you have to actually pass our house a little bit to get to our driveway 
and you just look over at it and the you know trees are trimmed and the weed eating's done and the grass is cut and it just looks so pretty it makes me proud so okay here's this one that one's done okay now come here poor little belly bands now we're not going to do a lot to these um but what i was thinking was incorporating these oh yes i'm gonna do it these pictures from shabby dabby doo -da. look at that already that's really cute so i'm gonna go ahead and distress around these cute and then this one um so yeah so he's gonna cut grass today and i think i'm going to paint um tomorrow's saturday so we have uh jaslyn has two volleyball games tomorrow so i think we're gonna go to the one at 11 i don't know if we'll stay for both because they have one at 11 and one at one um but yeah we're gonna go to her game tomorrow. What do I need? Let's just get a sheet of paper. We'll be quicker. And we'll use the uhu. Um, so yeah, we got that tomorrow. And then Sunday, I'm not sure what's on the agenda for Sunday. And then Monday will be more crafting time. Hubby will be back to work on Monday. I don't go back till Tuesday. That's cute. So yeah, so I'm sure Monday will be a crafting day. I did get some things organized in my house, guys. And I still have like maybe two more boxes to go through. But I did go through boxes of books. Um, a lot of which were given to me that I did not buy and I accepted and never really really went through um, but it's books I would not use that's just sitting in my family room taking up space um, so I got a lot of those boxed up but like I said I think I still have two more things to go through um, to redonate to the pizza place so we have that Okay, let's see. What do we want? Now, she has these thingies. And these are pretty colors here. They look kind of cute there. And then maybe a pink. Nope, that'll cover that up. I want to do that. What do we want on the other side? Dooby 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 doo. That could probably go up there. Or do we want it here? Hmm. Maybe right in there. I kind of want something in this corner. We have... Let's see. Come back. I'm chasing it. I'm chasing it. Not thin enough. It still covers up the word poet down there. Ta-da. We'll do that. And do we want a small something up here? Not small enough. There we go. We'll do that. So, let's distress. So yeah, that's on the agenda for us the next couple of days. So glad that fall is arriving. 
I love sweater weather. Although, it, for me, it's not sweater weather. It's um, hoodie weather. Love, love sweatshirts. It's what I live in in the wintertime. Sweatshirts and yoga pants. That's me. Okay. So, I'm just going to use the art glitter glue real quick and our cute little belly bands that have been neglected will be done and then we will call this a video until next time we will see what we're going to do next maybe we will decorate some of those journaling cards or they could be pockets either one those bases I got ready maybe we can decorate some of those and I do want to use this faux washi over here it's really cute cute and now this one not too fond about that ruffle hanging down on that awning so all right guys I think that's gonna do it for today there's our cute little belly bands finally done so we have our belly bands here that we did and then we have these two journaling cards here super cute all right guys we are going to call this a video thank you all so much for hanging out with me today if you don't mind oh guys the filming this video i am four no three what am i three or four three or four away from my next big milestone of 1500 subbies on my youtube channel so i'm very excited so we will be having a um surprise giveaway coming really really soon i may go ahead and start getting that stuff ready it's going to be a super secret giveaway because the winner will not know what they have won until they got it in the mail i wanted it to kind of kind of feel like christmas um, forever who the winner was so I will go ahead and film what those winnings are and then we will do the drawing make sure that you are watching and commenting on my recent videos because the way that it's going to work <coughs> excuse me and I could have already drawn who knows before this goes up um, yeah so anyway watch past videos and comment like that's what you have to do all right, I love you guys. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Again, hit that like button. Leave me a super quick comment. Excellent way that you can help my channel grow. And shameless self-promotion again. If you're interested in these, they are listed in my Etsy shop. So go on over there and take a look. All right, I love you guys. Thank you all so much, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.